so welcome to my vlog this week ladies and gentlemen so today i want us to make uh, the famous kenyan nyamachoma and these are my ingredients um i have chopped tomatoes here chopped uh, onions chopped green pepper or capsicum and i also have two chilies two pieces of chilies and i have a lemon and i have garlic um a paste of garlic mixed with the uh, with 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 garlic uh, with the ginger now i also have black pepper here and this is my meat that i'm going to prepare so i'm just starting by sprinkling the black pepper on on it and after that i'm going to marinate it with the uh, black pepper and salt and just put some oil oil on top vegetable oil you can use any you can use uh, olive oil or any other so i'm sprinkling salt on it and then I'm going to add the other fresh ingredients, the other fresh uh, ingredients that I want to mix, cook it with, roast it with. I'm going to use this mini oven here. So I'm going to ensure my heat is so, so, so low so that it's, it can uh, take around one hour in the oven. So that it's going to be very very tender so this is uh, a red onions powder i'm just adding although i have already chopped some red onions and i'm going to add to it but i also like putting the red onion powder just adding a little of it this is optional you don't have to put it so these are my capsicum and i'm just going to open my cooker my oven so that i can add them inside there I can add the other ingredients while inside the tray. So this is 500 grams of meat, of beef. And I'm just going to put some capsicum inside. After adding my capsicum, I'm going to add uh, the paste of ginger and garlic. I sprinkle on top. Remember, we've already sprinkled salt and uh, red pepper powder uh, and, and uh, black pepper powder. Then I'm going to just press my lemon juice on top. This was just one piece of lemon and I cut it into two. And now I'm just milking. I'm just squeezing the juice in on top of my meat. Ensure it's all well squeezed. So I am going to put some vegetable oil. This is also optional. Already this meat has uh, some fat. So when you put it in oven and put some low heat, all of that fat is going to melt. So you don't have to put the, the, fat, the oil. But I prefer to put it myself. So you can, it's optional though. So guys, you can do this in two ways. You can do it this way and don't add any other fresh ingredient. Use these ones to eat when you already cooked it. But I prefer to do this way because I, I want the, 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 the flavor, the, uh, to enhance the flavor also. You can eat it uh, like kind of fry, beef fry. You just put it, you bake it, you cover it with some, um, um, you cover it with uh, foil and put it inside and then ensure it's very, very tender before you remove it from the foil. So I've also put some chili and now I'm just covering it to ensure that, just adding a bit of red onion on top. Then I cover it with my foil. So I cover it with my foil and put it in the mini oven. So 
So ensure it is nicely covered. So this is just to leave, let it cook and also be very tender. Otherwise, you can put it directly on the sieve, on the on the on the mesh, and let it just cook for 15 minutes. Your meat will be ready. But if you suspect that your meat might not be very soft, start with this process first. Cover it with foil and put your low meat on a very very low the lowest level like now this mini oven has one two three four only but i'm going to put it on one that's the lowest level so once i put it on one uh, level one then i'm going to just ensure that it is uh i'm going to wait for it until at least one hour and then but i'll keep checking and then now i'm going to remove it from the tray and put it on the sieve and wait for it to dry again because it's not nyamachom until it's kind of dry though it should be juicy and fleshy but it should be kind of dry so now i have removed it and i put it on top of this sieve and some time i've passed like around 10 minutes and now it's uh, good enough to be eaten and you can see how nice and how juicy and how how good it's looking appetizing it is looking so i'm going to just chop it into smaller pieces cut into smaller pieces and there's so much ingredients down here there is uh tomatoes uh, that juice the lemon juice uh, some salt this is very nice i'm not going to throw it away i want to sieve off the oil and the remaining paste i'm going to put it in a plate so that i can eat together with this meat as I also eat my kachumbari. Also, I cannot miss to eat kachumbari. Kachumbari is very famous in Kenya, guys. It is a mixture of tomato, uh, onions, chopped ones, and you can put coriander, and also you can choose to put uh, avocado. It is very, very nice, especially if you eat it with nyamachoma. You'd want to always eat it that way. So it, my meat here is so, so tender, guys. I'm so happy with the results. It is very, very tender. Look. Ouch. Very, very tasty. I can't stop eating. So this should be served with ugali, the famous ugali. You can also eat it with matoke. You can eat with any dish you desire to eat it with so i'm just chopping it and then after that i'm going to chop my onions and tomatoes prepare my kachumbari and serve my meal and i can tell you that the results the results are very 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 good because i covered it in a foil to ensure it softens and cooks in the ingredients first for at least one hour this one you can also put on top of a cooker a plate and let it just cook for like even the whole day for 24 hours and you put very very low heat you will eat your beef in a very very nice way it will be so soft even if it was such a hard one it will be very very soft so my mine here i've just cooked for around an hour and i can tell you guys it didn't even consume much power it is very very nice very tasty very juicy and you can always try this if you don't have an oven just put your beef on top of a, in in a cooking pot and tightly cover the lid and put your heat or gas cooker on the lowest level and wait for at least an hour or so the lowest level and wait for an hour or so it will still give you almost the same results so god bless you for watching and thank you for tuning into my channel uh, see you in my next video and god bless you so so much as you keep watching let's eat your machoma bye for now